All right, guys. Hi, my name is Ishan Prasad. I am a 15-year-old pre-medical student. I go to Saratoga High School in Saratoga, California. We are currently three days away from the initial submission of applications. I've literally asked four teachers for a letter of recommendation and like one after the other, they're not coming through. You don't have it by now, you're screwed anyway. Doing this, we are actually doing this. I am freaking out. <laughs> probably seen the video titled, This is my middle college application journey. We are currently three days away from the initial submission of applications. Now, before I talk about that, I want to talk about what is middle college. Now, a lot of schools have similar programs where basically local community colleges will accept a small, typically 25 to 50, depending on the size of the college and what they can accommodate, high school students from all the local high schools or high school districts to move off of their high school campus entirely starting in their junior year and take all of their classes at college level. At mine, you can take eight units as a high school student in addition to your high school work. And you can also take 12 additional units at De Anza, which is the other local community college. For middle college, you'll be allowed to move entirely off your high school campus and you can take 11 units and you can still take 12 at De Anza. Now, I am stressed because there are a whole bunch of steps to apply to middle college, at least here. All right, y'all, I'm sorry. When I become stressed, I get kind of unengaging. So here I am doing a voiceover. To apply to middle college, at least here, there are a bunch of different application portions. And it's not that they're all particularly hard. It's that they give you less than two weeks and no actual list on what you need to finish. So... Here's what you have to do. First of all, there's a bunch of forms. Now, this is everything from district enrollment to transcript verification to residency verification to a bunch of other stuff that you really don't ever have to think about. But once you get those out of the way, they're honestly probably the easiest part of your application. Next, you need to get two letters of recommendation from teachers that you've had sometime in high school. So for me, I asked my math teacher from freshman year and my psychology professor from fall. Next, you need to get your letter of recommendation from a counselor. Now, depending on which school you go to, you may have multiple people you can ask. But for me, I only had one that I could ask. So that was pretty easy. Next is a personal essay. They gave you a bunch of questions that you had to answer with your essay, and you just kind of go from there. They also gave you a literary analysis essay to write, which is basically reading a short story that they choose and then analyzing it for two pages. In this case, it was the evil robot monkey. And then finally, we have to submit a recently graded research essay, as recent as possible. So that's it. That's all it is. And that's why I'm stressed. <laughs> Okay, let's talk. Uh, it is 1.30 a.m. on Tuesday morning, and I still have not slept. I am exhausted and tired and hungry. <laughs> it's funny how as a kid, you're literally like, I don't want to sleep, I want to stay up, or I want to watch TV. I want to use my phone or iPad or whatever. If you are my age or older, I don't care. Close your eyes, imagine that child, and in your little imagination bubble, drop kick them because they deserve it. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so uh, it is now 2 a.m., and now we are realizing that we are very much useless right now. So we are going to go to sleep. That was off. <laughs> Get in bed and good night. Okay, y'all, I have a story to tell you. I've literally asked four teachers for a letter of recommendation and like one after the other, they're not coming through. These are all like, they're not just like, we, are, we don't want to write you one. These are teachers that I have good relationships with. I, I emailed my psychology professor from last semester and he just didn't respond for like a week and I freaked out. So then I, I, I was like, okay, I guess he, something's happening. I can't trust him. I, so I emailed someone else. 
I email my ninth grade earth science teacher. She loved me. And she's like, sorry, COVID, don't have time, love you. And I'm like, okay, not a problem. I email my study hall teacher from freshman year. And she's like, yeah, I'll totally get to it. Except she never does. And I can see it on the portal. I'm like, she's not doing it. And then she's not responding. Uh, so then I freak out. Then I ask my current study hall teacher. And she's like, I can't write you a letter of recommendation actively because I'm recommending you to stay in the study hall program. And I can't write you a letter of recommendation because then it would be a conflict of interest. So I was like freaking out. I'm like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Applications do tomorrow. And finally... That first professor that I asked, he just responds like, just sent it in. Sorry, forgot to confirm earlier. And I'm like, you gave me a heart attack. Whatever, whatever. I'm happy. I crossed it off my list. Heart attack over. I gave my essay to a couple of people to review and they all kind of gave me their suggestions. So right now I'm just going through it. I'm going to spend no more than like 15 more minutes on it, just finishing it up, polishing it up, and printing it, and adding it to my final application list, then I don't look at it again. I spent an hour and a half on it. I have a essay to write for my application, print it out, and then we're going. See, there is, there is nothing else happening. There is no more all-nighter happening where we like plan stuff. It's done, okay? You finish, you print, you save it, you go to sleep. Because if you don't have it by now, you're screwed anyway, so there's no point. Okay, I'm just having a day where the stress really gets to me, so Advil time. It is what it is. Talk to you. We're actually doing this. We are actually doing this. We are submitting our middle college application. Ah, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. And stress and freaking out. It's time. We are submitting the middle college application right now. Kill me. <laughs> oh god. I've... This is stressful. This is really stressful. This is not a joke. <laughs> if you can't read it. That sign says application turn in. Actually just did that and they were happy and I was like the first applicant in there because no apparently uh the re the other school district is actually in session today so you have to submit your application anytime between 8 a.m and 4 p.m in person uh and the other school district is in session until 2 15 so most of them couldn't come at like 10 but we weren't part of me wanted to actually just get it done as early in the day as possible not because I like it, like being early and stuff, but because if they found an issue with my application, I still have an opportunity to actually go home and rush to fix it before the deadline. So it was more like a strategic thing and I'm happy that I did that, but turns out I didn't need to because they loved it. They thought it was great. Uh, we kind of had like a five minute discussion right there. They wanted to gauge me as an applicant and that was it. It was over. <laughs> Before I knew it, it was like getting a flu shot. It was more the anxiety building up to it than the actual thing itself. So, I don't know, I'm happy. I think, I'm like trying to find my mom's car right now, but I think we're gonna go out to get fast food or something to celebrate. <laughs> I want a milkshake right now. I feel so happy. Two weeks, okay? It was a very stressful two weeks and we actually did it. We submitted our application. I'm good, I'm proud of what I did and you know, whatever happens now, it's out of my control. So let's just be happy because there's no reason to stress out until there is. I'll talk to you guys later. I opened my phone and I saw the Outlook email from Joe McDevitt. Hey guys, so it has been a while since I filmed that video. I kind of cut it out. It was because I was getting kind of emotional. Since then, I have officially signed the contract and I start middle college this summer. I honestly can't wait to start. I'm really excited. I can't wait for all the opportunities to come there and I can't wait to be spending all my time actually studying what I love.
I don't know exactly what's gonna happen from here. I don't know how to put this on YouTube, but I'm really happy and I'm really satisfied with the work I put in. And I'm obviously very satisfied with the results. I don't know what to say, it's over. I The stress is gone, but at the same time, it's just starting. <laughs> I guess there are many more stories for me to share with you guys that will be coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I'll see you.